Let's mention those storms did kick up, kick up some strong winds, and those winds caused some damage. At least two families are out of their homes tonight because of it. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live in Orlando tonight with more on what happened. Eric? Yeah, Matt, we are standing right in the family's backyard right now, and I wanted you to take a look at this. This is their roof. It was literally peeled off the top of their house this afternoon by these fierce winds that came through. They actually said it was raining inside their house because the water was seeping through, and we found out it was just as bad right down the street. I was right in there, right there in the middle. James Williams says he was inside his RV tonight at Bill Frederick Park when he heard a loud cracking noise. That's when he said half of this large tree crashed down on him. I, I ran to the door, but I was barricaded in the door. And I just was like, oh, my God. And uh, so then I ran back um, in there to actually try to put on some clothes so I could get out. And uh, I called uh, 911. Tonight, we watched the city of Orlando crews arrive to remove the mess. We also saw the tree was hollow. A family of raccoons had set up home inside. This was just one of the casualties of tonight's storms. Flights were delayed at Orlando International Airport. Electricity was another. We caught these crews working to restore power in Orange County as drivers blew through dark traffic signals. At one point, nearly 19,000 customers were without power. William says his experience shook him up, but he says he came out of this with a new perspective. It's scary, and uh, I'm thankful for the, the, you know, I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful to God for my life. It's a good lesson there. Back out here live, you can see what is left of this family's roof. And, you know, the American Red Cross is actually helping both these families find uh, places to stay tonight and for the next few days. And this is an agency that's really been tapped the last few days a lot via uh, lightning-caused fires or other instances around Central Florida. We put a link on our website if you'd like to help them. That's clickorlando.com. We are live in Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6.